YouTube, what is up? It's Caesar. Today I'll be showing you all step by step how to create a custom ringtone for your iPhones using iTunes version 12 and up. Now I have to add in, the only downside to this is that the tone can't be more than 30 seconds. Sometimes it can be 35, but 30 is recommended. Now you will need an iPhone lightning cable to connect your iPhone to your computer, laptop, desktop, whatever you're using. I included some links in the description if you want to buy new ones just in case you have a shortage or anything like that. Um, I'm assuming everybody has one because that's how you charge up your iPhone. Now for a quick overview, make sure you have iTunes 12. I posted a link in the description for a free download from the official Apple website. I also don't encourage piracy, but we will be using YouTube-MP3.org for today's purpose only. And ensure that you are surfing anonymously. I included a CyberGhost VPN program and the link as well as a free download and it protects your identity and IP address and things like that. First thing is first, you want to go to the iTunes link that I provide in the description. You want to download iTunes and it should take you right to the recommended iTunes for whatever operating system you use and whether it's uh, Windows or if it's uh, Mac. But if the recommended one doesn't come up, you can always scroll down. And if you have Windows, you know, get iTunes for Windows and vice versa. You can scroll down and get iTunes for Macintosh. And I also provide a link for the 64-bit uh, iTunes because for some reason, if you go to the one for Windows that they have, it's a 32-bit and it didn't run on my Windows 10, but yeah. And once that's downloaded, um, you want to download Cyber Goes VPN. You go up here, click on the uh, free download. And as soon as you go to it, it should automatically start downloading it. Now at this point, I'm just going to assume that you have iTunes installed and CyberGhost VPN installed and up and running. Um, the first thing you want to do is actually go to CyberGhost and wait for it to load. And you want to you know, select whatever country is available. Uh, I usually keep it at Italy. And then you want to click the on button. And it's going to start, but since it's a free user, it's going to do a countdown. So I'm going to speed up the video at this point. And it's going to start fetching the server, and it will simulate your uh, IP address to the simulated country that you picked or it automatically picked and once it does that you're all set to go don't quit out of it but you can exit out of it it's going to say protection enabled you can click right there and you can either uh, minimize it or X it right here you don't want to quit it you don't want to force quit it you don't want to do that you just want to exit it and as long as the icon is up here it's still active so now you're surfing anonymously um, the reason why I did that first is because that takes a little bit of time. You see it counted down from like 2000 something or whatever the number was. Uh, okay, now you want your iTunes up and running. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to iTunes, Preferences, and in the General tab, you want to go where it says when a CD is inserted. Go to Import Settings. Make sure you have AAC Encoder. Select it under import using and under settings you want to have iTunes plus while well, my phone just went off like crazy Yeah, you want to have iTunes plus you want to hit OK and you want to hit OK From that point uh, now it's time to find a song After you found a song or an instrumental or a beat that you want to use in my case I'm going to use my own beat because it's free and I think you all should know about this beat because it is free and you can download it if you want to make it your ringtone um Link is right here in the, in the description. Uh, you want to take the URL. You want to copy it. I can play this, by the way. But you want to take the URL. Then you want to go to the YouTube MP3 website that I gave you. Dot org. And you want to get rid of whatever they have in there. And you want to paste the URL. Convert video, wait for it to process it. Once it comes up after you hit convert video, you want to hit download. 
and it's going to download below. Um, after that, you could come after it downloads, you can quit out of Chrome or minimize whatever you want to do. Now, first thing you want to do is I'm going to go to that track and you want to double click it. And the second thing you want to do is you want to find the 30 seconds uh, that you do want to make the song. Um, but before you do that, make sure you duplicate this. So wherever you have it saved at, in my case, I'm going to put it on the desktop. You want to right click, duplicate, just to make a second copy, just in case, you know, because it, it is going to shave it to a 30 second portion. So once you do that, you click on it you want to right click get info go to options and you find a start and stop time that you want so in my case I'm going to use fifty five seconds and I'm going to use thirty seconds of that so from fifty five to zero fifty five to zero 25 so right click get info options 0 55 to 125 I'm sorry I made a mistake 125 and that should be 30 seconds you hit okay and um, double click it again I should come up as 30 seconds yep it came up as 30 seconds so you're on the right path now you want to go to file convert and create ACC version once they get done it'll notify you and it'll come up on the left of it if you're in recently added now you want to take this one drag it to the desktop and notice it's no longer an mp3 it's an m4a file now what you want to do is you want to right click rename and instead of an m4a you want to make it an m4r hit enter and keep M4A, no, you want to use uh, the extension .m4r. Now you want to go back into iTunes. You want to delete both the converted one and the original one, but you want to keep the files. So once I throw it in trash, keep files. Do not move to trash. You want to keep the files. After that, quit out of iTunes, and you want to open the M4R one with iTunes. Okay, so once you've done that, you're not gonna see uh, on here at all. But you know you wanna get your lightning cable and get your iPhone and you wanna hook it up to your computer. So give me one second. I'm about to go hook mine up. Now you notice your device has came up. You can even click the drop down menu, but the first thing you want to do is click this and you want to sync. Once you sync it, sync it, sync it. Let's see, prepare to sync, prepare to copy items. Now you want to go to the tones drop down. And that was Gucci Man Type B Free 2016. You want to click that actually click off of these actually I do want these and you want to hit apply it's going to sync your iPhone and and at the same time it's copying to your phone tones want to hit done and there you have it so let's let you know let's see let's see if we have it okay first thing you want to do is first thing you want to do is you want to go to settings and sounds now you want to go down to ringtone and there it is same thing works just like magic not exactly magic but magic and I'll keep repeating for 30 seconds now that everything is done, I'm just going to drag this into the ringtones. 
so I can always have it just in case I do want to make that my ringtone. But I always support great music and always buy the music. That's the one thing, you know, like I said, I don't condone piracy or anything like that, but just for demonstration purposes, um, you know, you got make ends meet. Email me if you want me to make you any ringtones. Uh, I'm going to leave my email in the description and drop me suggestions of a video I should make next. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment your thoughts below. If this worked, give it a thumbs up. If it didn't, give it a thumbs down comment on how I can improve my video. And stay tuned for upcoming contests. You know, we'll be definitely be winning some prizes and things like that. And yeah, this is Caesar. Hope you enjoyed the video.